Let's start our exploration of dynamics by considering how we see the world and interpret our experiences. As humans, we've always built our understanding of nature, our beliefs, or our intuition on our experiences. Most of us are no different from that. We either accept our culture's view of the world or form our own beliefs without careful thought, analysis, or testing, and so we're often fooled. We have to go beyond intuition. To many of us, it's natural to see that to keep an object moving, a force must be applied. In fact, that's the conclusion that Aristotle wrote about 2,400 years ago. His views seem to be right then and continue to seem to be right for a long time following. In fact, Aristotle was considered to be the most important authority on science and other philosophical topics for nearly 2,000 years. But 400 years ago, another scientist and astronomer, Galileo, decided to look at things in a very different way from Aristotle. One of the ways it was different was what we know now as the scientific method. And with respect to motion, he proposed a thought experiment to reveal a completely different perspective. Here's Galileo's thought experiment. He imagined two perfectly smooth ramps connected together by a curved surface at the bottom. If you let a ball go at the top of the ramp, he questioned what would happen. Well, the ball would roll down and would continue rolling to the bottom, it would roll up the other side until it reached a point about the same height as it was when it started. And then from our experience, we know it would roll back. Now let's repeat that experiment. We're gonna make the ramp a little less steep. What will happen? Well, again, the ball rolls down the slope and continues up until it reaches about the same height as it did before. But here's one difference. It's rolled farther on the right side than it did the last time. So, his next thought was, well, let's make that ramp completely flat. Now what'll happen? The ball rolls down and it keeps rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling. It will keep going forever. It can't, it's, there's nowhere that it's going back up again. No external force is necessary. It's not that Aristotle was wrong. In our everyday life, we notice that objects have to keep being pushed in order to keep moving. Just try it yourself. Push a book across a table. When you stop pushing, it stops moving. So Aristotle is right in terms of what we see around us every day, but it's just that Galileo and later Newton imagined a world where friction could be eliminated. Friction is just an external force, no different from your push or pull on an object. If we follow Galileo's thought experiment, we have a situation where there are no external forces, so an object's velocity remains constant. So in a sense, two equal and opposite forces cancel each other out and hence have the same effect. There is no net force and an object will continue moving with a constant speed.